Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And in this short video, another video in our uh, series of videos dealing with logarithms, uh, we're going to prove a very, very important uh, logarithmic identity. Okay, and in particular, what we're going to try to prove is we'd like to prove we'd like to prove that the log log of x to the power of n to the base a is equivalent to the exponent. Okay, is equivalent to n times the log of x to the base a. Okay? It's a really, really important identity because what it allows us to do is it allows us to break a base, I suppose it allows us to break an exponent uh, away from its particular to its 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 particular its particular base, if that makes sense. So we'd we'd like to uh, do this particular proof. But let's just recall recall okay, the following fact that what does x if x is equal to a to the power of y, okay? What does it mean? Well, what this means is uh, that this exponent here, this y, okay, that if I raise a to this particular power, what I get is x, okay, and that's what a logarithm a logarithm effectively is. A logarithm is is the exponent. It's it's what should the power be, okay? What should well, it's the exponent that some base needs to be raised to in order to achieve a specific value. Okay. So actually, in in logarithmic notation, what we're really saying here is this: is that uh, the log the log of x to the base a is equal to is equal to y. What it's saying is this: is that the, if if the log of x to the base a is equal to y, what it's saying is that a to the power of y is equal to x. This is really really important for us. We're going to use this particular this particular fact and this relationship, this definition, okay, to help us uh, with this particular with this particular proof over here. So maybe let's do the proof. So let's do the proof. So proof. Okay. Uh let's let's consider let's consider the right hand side the right hand side of this particular equality. And let's say we let 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 M let M equal log of X to the base A. Okay. So we're gonna let let M equal that. What does this mean in exponent form? Okay, in exponent form, okay, if if m is equal to log of x to the base a, well then what we're saying is that a to the power of m is equal to is equal to x. Okay, so if this is true, if a to the power of m is equal to x, well then if we if we raise both sides to the power of n, okay, so therefore, okay, we have a to the m raised to the power of n must be equal to x to the power of n, okay, raising both sides to the power of n, okay. But the laws of exponents will tell us that, therefore, what we have is that a to the m n is equal to is equal to x to the n, okay. So a to the m n is equal to x to the n. What does this tell us in in logarithmic form? Okay, in logarithmic logarithmic form. Okay, well, we have some number a raised to a particular power. Okay, uh, and we know that that's equal to some other some other number. Okay, so in logarithmic form, this is telling us therefore. Okay, we must have that log that the log of x to the n, the log of this number to the base a, must be equal to m, m times n. Okay, but m times n is simply m times n is the same as n times m, okay, which is the same as n times well m is log of x to the base a. Okay, so we now have shown what we've shown is that the log of a power function or x to the power of n to some base is the same as the exponent, okay, uh, times the log of x to the to the base a. Okay. So there you go guys. Once again this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope that this video was in some way intuitive and more importantly I hope that was helpful for you. And thank you for watching. Okay, bye bye.